What is up YouTube, IDM here, and welcome back to another video. So I'm gonna show you guys how to get show live on your iOS 15 device. Now this is a shortcut that allows you to customize the home screen and the lock screen of your iPhone. And like I said, this does work on iOS 15 and it makes it look pretty damn awesome. As you guys can see, I've covered a ton of shortcuts um, that allow you to customize stuff like this one. And this one's really cool. So as you can see, you can have, you know, like the date, the day, battery percentage, a battery bar, weather information. So just a bunch of cool stuff applied basically to the background or the wallpaper of your iPhone. And you can have this automated so it refreshes throughout the day as well. So you can watch your battery percentage go down directly on your home screen. It's definitely a really cool shortcut. So to get started with this shortcut, you're going to need the Discord application. It's a free app from the App Store. I'll leave the link for it in the description so you guys can download it. And then once you have downloaded Discord, uh, be sure to join the show server. As you guys can see here, I'll leave the server invitation link in the description as well. So just make sure you join the server as that's where you're going to get all of the downloads for show live and also all of the show live themes. They're all available on the server. So now to start off, we're going to go into the show live shortcuts, and this is where you can download all of the shortcuts necessary uh, to run. And there's a few different things you can actually, you know, download here. There's show live wallpapers. There's, there's a few different things. So I'd recommend you guys when you're doing this for the first time to kind of just come through this section here and just kind of read through and you will see everything that's available. But to get started, we're going to download show live and this is currently on version 1.2. So it might be updated in the future, but just note, this is where you're going to get the download for the main shortcut. So we're going to go ahead and download it. Uh, it's a pretty massive shortcut. So this part can take a little while for it to load depending on your internet speed. So just be patient. It will eventually load. Just remember it's a massive shortcut that's going to do lots of different things. So. There we go, we're gonna click on add a shortcut. Now we can just verify that it's in our shortcuts. And now we're gonna jump back. We're gonna jump back to, uh, if I can swipe over, back to Discord and we're gonna scroll down a little bit here and we want another shortcut. And this is the show live helper for version 1.2 as well. And this will allow you to customize, you know, certain things with the shortcut, like which wallpaper it's using and other stuff like that. So we're just gonna click on that shortcut, get shortcut allow it to load, add shortcut. And now we should have show live helper and show live version 1.2. Now we need to get our file system ready for the shortcut. That's really easy to do. I'll show you guys how to navigate to where you need to be. iCloud drive, scroll down shortcuts. And then once you're here, all you gotta do is create a new folder just by touching and holding on a blank spot or the three dots in the upper right, just click new folder. And we're gonna name this one capital S H O W and then capital L I V E. So just show live. And then we're gonna create another folder and I like to do this. This will make sense later in the video, but we'll just do uh, sh again, show live. And then at the end here, I'm just gonna put themes and this is where we can download and save all of the different show live themes that we might want to use with the shortcut. So it's just kind of nice to keep it, uh, you know, all the themes in its own folder. Now that we've created the folders, we can jump back into shortcuts and we can run show live for the first time. Now this is going to run a default theme that comes with the shortcut. And as you can see, you get a kind of a instructional kind of pop up here. You can read through that if you'd like. I'm just going to click done and then I'm going to input the username I want to use, which will be IDM just like that. Now, when you run this shortcut for the very first time, it does take a while for it to run. So just remember it, it's going to be a little bit. So on all of the pop-ups you get, just click on allow or always allow and okay on all the pop-ups. And just remember when you run this the very first time, uh, it does take a little bit of, uh, a little bit of time to fully run. So just be patient here. I'll probably fast forward the video a little bit. Okay, now it's gonna allow me to choose uh, a wallpaper that I want to use. So I'm just gonna choose one. I guess we'll do this one here. And as you see, just click always allow on everything as it pops up. Okay, and I think the shortcut has finished, even though the progress doesn't show it fully finished. It's been about a minute or so and I haven't gotten any more pop-ups. 
Um, like I said, just be very patient. Sometimes this will happen. And this is just an iOS 15 bug where the shortcut progress uh, doesn't fully finish. But you will know it finished when you go to the home screen. And as you can see, uh, the home screen is now different. I have a different theme on the home screen. So that's how you know it finished. Like I said, this progress bug is still persistent in iOS 15. I really wish Apple would get that fixed. We've had it since iOS 14, but I'm just going to kill shortcuts from multitasking so that that unfreezes. Um, and as you can see, this is kind of the default theme that you get. Now, what's cool is you can jump back into the show uh, server. And if you go to the show live team shares, there's a bunch of different themes to download from here. And also within the show live themes uh, shares. So there's theme share and then there's team share. So two different sections here where you can found, find a whole bunch of downloads. And uh, some of them are just really freaking cool looking. Um, let's see here. That one's pretty neat. Like this one looks really cool. So a bunch of really cool themes to download. I'm going to go ahead and go into the team themes here because uh, the, the creator of the shortcut, Sean, did a recreation of a jailbreak uh, widget that I really like if I can find it here. Um, original widget is by Daddy Cool. And it's basically been uh, ported over from jailbreak to no jailbreak, which is pretty insane. It should be here somewhere. I remember seeing it. Um, there's that theme that I was using earlier. Ah, right here, this one. So this this is basically a jailbreak widget that has been ported to show live, and that's really cool. So when you go to download a theme, just click on the download link there. Just click on download. And just be patient as it downloads. And then we're going to do open in. And I'm going to save to files. And I'm going to navigate to that folder we created earlier, which is show live themes. So again, from iCloud Drive, just find the shortcuts folder and then find show live themes and then just click on save. Now we can exit out of the discord. We can go into files. We can go into show live themes and just click on unzip and just make sure it fully extracts. We can delete the zip because we no longer need it now. And this is basically the theme. So you can see there is a supplied wall with this. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this. So now that we have the theme in our files, we can go back into shortcuts and now we can use the show live helper. So we'll just run this. As you can see, it tells you what it does. Basically, we'll just click on OK and then we're going to install theme. And I'm going to back up here. I'm going to go down to shortcuts, go down to show live themes, and then we're going to choose on that JSON file that's in the theme. So just click on that file there that's going to come with every theme um, as you download them and i'm going to configure this for the home screen so hs is home screen ls is obviously lock screen and then you get a bunch of information here all you gotta do is click down at the bottom and it will go away now the next thing i'm going to do is set the wallpaper because i've seen that theme comes with a wallpaper so i'm going to run the helper again and i'm going to do install wallpaper and we're going to go Okay, apparently that's not, let me let me try and run that again. Click on OK. I thought I was able to install the wallpaper from files, but it looks like it's just opening up my albums. So I guess what I'll do is I will just jump into the file here. And I'm just going to go ahead and um, save this to my files if I can. I think I just click on it. There we go. And then the share sheet save image so now i have saved the image we're gonna go back to the helper here and i'm going to choose that wall so install wallpaper i could have sworn there was the ability to go through your file system here maybe i'm mistaken but this is just a quick easy workaround and we'll just go ahead and install that and now we're going to just run the shortcut again now that we have changed the theme we have changed the wallpaper we're going to run the shortcut and i will be back as soon as it's done of course at this point again if you get any pop-ups just click on always allow or okay okay and the shortcut finished so now when we jump to the uh home screen here you can see the new theme has been applied it looks like it didn't change my wallpaper unfortunately um let's go into files and see what it did here so another way that you can uh work around this is to just move this 
into um, the the theme folder. So if I just copy this and go back, and go back, and then we go into show live, and then we can just paste this in. And I'm pretty sure I can just delete. See, there's the wall that I want. I'm not sure why it didn't set it. But I think I can just rename this to wall HS and it should work. We'll give it a go. All right, now that we have put a wall in there, let's go ahead and run the shortcut again here. Okay, and the shortcut is now done running. And there we go. As you can see, we got the theme installed, we got the wallpaper, and that looks freaking awesome. I love that, you know, we can get these like jailbreak like widgets on iOS 15 with no jailbreak. It's it's freaking awesome and it's pretty pretty cool to see all of the shortcuts kind of evolving from iOS 14 now into iOS 15 and just how custom you can make a stock iPhone look. It's pretty it's pretty crazy. Now, at this point, of course, I could start going through and customizing all of my icons to have custom icons that would really look cool with this um with this show live theme as well. So uh, definitely really cool. Uh, again, like I said, all the links will be down in the description for you guys to download and get show live up and running. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys wanna see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been IDM and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.